Well, now as we come to John chapter 11, and again next week, we're going to go through a transition process. I think of this, it's my words here, but it's kind of like literary sorbet. God is giving us a place to change and clean our palate to get us ready for the next part of this feast that is his word. Now, before we leave, because it's important that we remember where we have been, closing out of John 10, verses 22 through 42, where we were last week, remember that Jesus was really emphasizing the contrast and the purpose behind understanding the difference between the sheep and the goats, his children that know and follow his voice versus those that don't. He made the point of showing us the risk of syncretism or compromise and political correctness in its leadership of the church. He showed us the difference between shepherds, good ones and bad ones, and ultimately the good shepherd, which is Christ. He showed us his sovereignty, that those that don't believe don't believe because they're not chosen. And yet he blended in there our understanding of responsibility, that you must choose by faith to embrace his grace. Do you remember all of this? He ultimately showed us what was my favorite part of that passage, and that is the unsnatchability of his sheep. He said that those that are mine are within my hand and no one and nothing can take somebody out of my hand. If you are truly saved and a sheep of the Savior, you are secure, friends. You are secure. I ask you, are you like most that would say, oh yeah, John 11, that's where Lazarus gets raised from the dead. Yeah, that's a really cool part of the Bible. That's where Jesus looks really cool and comes across as really nice, right? Is that what you would take away? And, and mind you, we just watched the word. So I'm asking you afresh, what did you see? I've entitled our message this morning. Did you see that? Did you see that? And so I ask you up front, what did you see? Did you see the gospel of Jesus Christ in John 11 verses 1 through 54? I say to you again this morning, friends, as we now jump in, what I've said to you throughout this series, we need to read our Bibles better. And together, this morning, my prayer is that we will. And so what I would like to do with the balance of our time this morning is I'd like to go back through and now unpack John 11. Because I want to ask you, did you see yourself in the crowd? I want to ask you, did you see yourself in the cave? Did you see yourself in Christ? Did you see Christ in the cave? Did you see Christ coming out of the cave? I ask you, did you see the fullness of God's glory in this passage? We're going to look at a very real historical account of something miraculous and amazing. But as God so often does, and especially through John, he's going to show us two things at the same time. And my prayer is that you and I will see both afresh.